Hello and welcome to this, probably the last part of the equipment system series, uh, but we'll see where we go from here. We may do more parts in the future. So how are we going to end things off? Well, at the moment our game has a tooltip on our items showing us their stats. And what I want to add to this now is so that when I hover over it, it's going to show me the difference in the stats with a plus or minus number that is then changed color based on those stats. So let's go through and get that in there. So the thing we're going to be working with is a rich text block. And if we go into the tooltip here, we're currently just using a normal text block for our item stats. I want to replace this. So I'm going to select my rich text block, right click on this and then do replace with rich text block. And I'll keep it the same name and it's still variable and it's there. You hit compile on this and then go to the graph to check out the error. And the error is with the set text obviously because it's no longer the same thing. So hit compile and we're going to drag out the item stats now. And then from there we can do set text. Plug that in and then plug that in. So the next thing to work on is the style sheet. So to get a rich text sheet to actually work, you have to use a style sheet. And it, for example, at the moment, if we just type in hello, you get this sort of message come up. And this is what happens when you don't have a style sheet attached to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click into our content browser, go to miscellaneous and create a new data table. And from the drop down, you'll see in your options for a rich text style row. Click OK. And we'll call this one rich text style sheet. And we'll open this up. In here, we're going to add the first row. And the first row is the default row. So I'm going to name the row here default. And this will be the font and coloring and everything else assigned to it. So the font family, you want to change that from none to I'm going to use the built in one. If you don't see the built in, by the way, just go to view options and tick show engine content. And you'll see it come up. So I'm going to hit uh, the bottom. Size, I'm going to leave it as 24. Uh, I'm going to change it to, I'll leave it as regular actually. And uh, we'll change the color here to be white. Like so. And then I want to add another row. And this row is going to be for the increased value. So I'm going to do ink. And for the ink one, we're going to do the same font, but this time I'm going to change the color here to green. And then make another row. And I'll put deck for decrease. And again, changing the color here and the font. So font to Roboto, color here to red. Like that. And there are more options. You can do as much as you like here. You can do if it's underlined, for example, or whatever. You can do all sorts of things on it. Uh, but that'll do for us here. We're going to hit save and close this. Then on my rich text box, I'm going to go over to the right hand side and see text style sheet. And on there, you should see your data table. Click this. When you've done that, just go up to compile and hit that. And it will now show the default uh, row of your style sheet. So what we're going to do now is show how to add styles to this. So in the text here, for example, I'm going to put in a less than sign and put in ink. And then a greater than sign. So it's in no sort of brackets. And then I'll put in the word increase and then put in again the brackets again. But inside of it, I'll put in a forward slash and then close the bracket. And then you get the formatting change based on the, the text style sheet. And it showed a decrease one as well. I'll do deck and we'll type in decrease. And you get that style as well. So that's how we use the styles in the style sheet. Um, but obviously we need to make this dynamic and change based on those stats that we're putting into it. So I'm just going to delete this now and hit compile and that should clear that. Then I'm going to go to my graph here and that's been plugged in with these stats here. So at the moment this should look the same in the game. So if I push play, we should still see just the stats like normal. Okay, nothing special there. But what I need to now do is look at the current stats the player has for the current equipped item in that category. 
So let's go through how to do that. So I'm going to go back on the tooltip and the tooltip needs to actually get a reference to the character. So we're going to get player character. And then from there, we're going to cast to our character. Dead person character. And plug that in. So now we have access to all of those stats and also the equipment we have. So we'll need the equipment. You're going to drag this out and get the equipment and get the equipment map. And then from here, we can then work out all the different information we need from our break here. So I'm actually going to break some of this off. I'm going to break off the cast here and we'll just move this down here. And we want the category to be part of this. So we need the equipment map. We're going to find and we're going to find the category item. So we do category in there. And then that will give us the row name, which then we can get the data table row for that data table row. And this will give us the current equipped item and its relative stats. OK, so now we've got these coming out here. We can drag this out and break that. OK, so now we've got the current equipped item and the item we are currently hovering over. We need to calculate the difference and what's going to happen there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all of this that I've just made and I'm going to convert that to a function. And we'll call this one get difference. Like that. And we're going to plug that in before the set text happens on our main line here. And plug that in. So the difference is going to feed into this format text eventually, but we'll get back to that in a minute. So let's go to the get difference. So we've got the new armor here, uh, the current armor. We also need the new armor to be plugged into this as well. Um, so let's get that. I need to plug in the row here. So go to inputs and then from here we'll do um, next item details and that'll be set to item uh, maybe I'll be equipment sorry equipment uh, struct there we go and I can drag that out here and get next item details so this is the one we're hovering over this is the one we've got currently equipped so now we've got these values coming out of it now I want output here the various stats that I want to use so we're going to make a return node and on the return node we're going to add in the differences so stat armor we're going to take from the next item and do minus and plug that into there I'm going to do damage minus damage and then finally agility minus agility okay well I then want to turn these to text and the reason why I want to do that is because I need to sign them and eventually put them to text anyway so I'm going to take this out here and we're going to do uh, sign float uh, not sign sorry to text float my bad to text float and you want to expand this open on this when you expand open you'll see the option to turn on always sign we're going to turn that on and we're going to get rid of the fractional digits as well so I'm going to turn off maximum fractional digits to zero and that looks fine we'll leave it like that so now we've got those settings in there. I'm going to copy this again and again for the other two stats. Okay. Okay, next I want to put in uh, what are the actual text that we want to use here. So this is the number with a negative or a positive in it. So the next thing I want to do is I, want, I need to make it dynamically change what the text is going to say and how it's going to say it because we need to put those brackets around it. So I'm just going to do the fo focus on the first one here, the armor. So I'll just move these two out of the way and go through this. So this text is going to give us the actual physical text that's going to show on the screen. But I need to know what brackets I want to put around it. So we're going to need to use a format text here. 
and the format text is going to have our brackets in it so we're going to have the bracket ink bracket and put in a uh, and then put in the curly bracket of a curly bracket and then close the style seat style sheet bracket and you'll get this so this is for the inc uh, increasing I'm going to copy that and paste that and this is for now decreasing so I'll do this one for decreasing like so I then want to plug in the return value here into both of those now to know which one of these I want to use I'm going to do a select node so I'm going to drag out from the end here and do select and choose this select node here and we want to put in at the bottom a boolean and the boolean we're going to put in there is going to be whether or not the negative value here is going lower or higher so let's put this out and we're going to do if it's less than zero now going to the bottom so if it's less than zero i want to put in a decreasing one so that'll go into true if it is greater than zero or equal to zero it'll become uh, uh equal to uh increasing and it'll become false here okay and that is your final output going on here so we'll drag this and plop that on the end here i'm going to name this one agility no no this was armor so and i want to now do that exact same thing but for the other two so let's just copy that and paste that here uh, oh, sorry. Into A. The float will go into there, and then the output would go into the return node, and name it damage. Okay, and then finally we're going to put in the last one. That'll go into A, A, and then the float self will go into the greater than or equal to or sorry the less than uh zero and we take the return value and put that into the end as well and we're going to set that over here to agility now we can plug the end of this result into our rest of our function for row found Okay, so it's a long time getting there, but you do this for each one. You could probably make these separate functions or um, macros even if you wished. Uh, it'd probably be actually quite good to do as a macro. Uh, let's actually turn it into a macro and make it a bit neater. So let's right click on that, collapse to macro. And this will be um, get string result. And that'll go into there. And I'm going to use the same one over here. So let's just rename these and make these a bit neater. Uh, so the float value can be the same as this one. So I can get rid of the bottom one. So it's got value. And then that goes into there and out. Good. So back on the get difference here, we can just have this get string result for each one. Just copy and then plug that into damage. And then delete this. And then paste again and delete that. Now see, that's a lot neater. We like the look of that. Okay. So drag that down here. Oh, and just get ourselves organized. Move that along. Okay, so now let's go back to the event graph. On the event graph, we're going to use this get difference here. We need to put in the next item details. Okay, so we need to plug in this out row into that function there. And then we've got these things going on to it. Now, rather than plugging in just the numbers like we are, we need to do extra stuff to them. So we're going to do another format text for each one of these. So we do format text. And in the format text, we're going to have the uh, name, so it'd be, uh, not name, sorry, it'd be the number. So we'll put in a curly bracket, a curly bracket, and that'd be the number that we have been using for now into there. But then we also want to put in the bit afterwards as well. So I'm gonna put in a space, 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 and then put in curly bracket, B curly bracket. 
and that would be the matching one from get difference and you're gonna do it for each one so copy that paste that and plug that in there damage oh there and a is a number and then again plug that in there agility and then a is the number and so on and so forth for all the stats you have it compile and save that so now let's test this out in our game okay so if i go to my menu here you can see the stat differences happening over here so the jacket says it's got armor of 10 and it says it's less than five than the current equipped item so go to the current equipped item that says five so what i'm guessing going wrong here is that this is now it's doing the take away the wrong way around so this damage says one and this is damage of three so yeah that's the wrong way around we need to switch that around uh so we go back to our get difference and we just switch the which pins are being take, taken away here so this one will go here and this one will go here yeah yeah uh here and yeah and that should now give us the correct values let's go to my menu and we now see that this jacket is going to gain us five armor extra five armor but we're going to lose two damage and lose three agility which is true because this one's got five three and five and this one's set to one and two so i can equip that and you see the numbers change that one's now got zeros on it and this one's got minus five plus two plus three and that goes for all the items here that may have stats and there we have it thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and this series now i think we're done for this series but if you do have any suggestions for what you want to see if you want to see anything extra please let me know in the comments below and we may return to this series later with some extra bonus episodes. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and Patreon members and YouTube members for their continued support. If you want to watch more of my content before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. With a donation of just $1, we'll get access to all of my content before anyone else. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.